Hello everyone, my name is Quinn Cuslidge and I'm a VR developer that uh, lives in both Sarasota and Minnesota. Due to COVID-19 right now, I'm currently in Minnesota. Today I'm going to show you guys how to set up VR gameplay recording using the Oculus Rift. Now, there's a lot of different ways to do this. I found that my method produces the best quality video and audio, as well as just making it an overall easier experience to set up in the first place. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a general scene here and show you guys exactly how I would set up when I'm recording either just a simple devlog when I'm developing or when I'm recording gameplay for Sellouts Game Night. So the first thing I want to do is set up a new scene. So usually I make a scene for every game. So I'm going to set up Boneworks. Um, I already have one, but it's kind of outdated and I just updated to 2020. So we're going to start from scratch here. The first thing I want to do is actually just make sure that Oculus is open. So I'm going to open up the Oculus app and I'm going to get my headset ready. All right, so Oculus is now open and we can wait for my resolution to basically reset. And uh, now we have the Oculus working just fine. So first things first, if you notice here, um, you can see my audio bar. We're going to check that actually. And we're going to check the properties and we're gonna make sure that it's set to the uh, Rift S microphone. So, cool thing about this is, um, now if I hold it to my face, I can really see exactly where I want the audio to be. So I usually drag it down to about negative 30, and this is with my mouth right next to it. Now this is gonna avoid a lot of just kind of gross audio that you see with a lot of people who are starting out and recording incorrectly. And the next thing is super important. If you wanna record your gameplay audio, you have to go up here to desktop audio and you have to set those properties, not to default, but to your Rift S microphones. Now, everything being heard inside the headset is going to be heard inside of uh, your recording. So now that we have those two key items set up, we're actually gonna uh, not add anything yet. We're gonna go to show. We're gonna go to settings, and we're gonna go straight to output. Now, when I'm setting up this, there's a lot of different things you need to do to make sure that this is almost perfect. I usually have four different things, and I'm gonna show you guys how to set up a third microphone in a second. I apologize for my Rift S freaking out. I never change out my batteries because I'm super lazy. Um, first things first, you're gonna want to keep this as site type standard. Uh, you're gonna set your output to wherever it's going. Right now it's set to Time Punk Devlogs because that's just where I have it going. You w uh, And also, the default is FLV. Now, you wanna change it to MP4 because FLV is really hard. Unless you're a compositor or you do a lot of video editing and converting, you're gonna wanna export straight as an MP4. Now, the downside to this is if OBS closes while you're recording, you're gonna lose all your footage. So it's best to record in max 30 minute increments. Depending on your graphics card, you could use the uh, NVIDIA encoder, which is new. I always stick with uh, 2064 because it just never seems to fail. And and uh, so we'll go down to uh, the bitrate here. Now the bitrate's extremely important when you're recording with OBS because it's by default set to around 3,000 kilobytes per second. You don't want that, otherwise your footage is gonna be super cubic and ugly. So you wanna set that bitrate really high, like around 6,000, 7,000, depending on your CPU, you wanna have that really high. Otherwise your footage isn't gonna look very good and then people are gonna judge you. Then you're gonna set the keyframe interval seconds to two. I don't exactly know why this is, but every time I've set it to anything else or to zero, my, image, my footage is just very cubey. I've spent a lot of time with this program, so I understand kind of how it works through trial and error, so you don't have to. Um, then you, depending on your CPU, you can kind of tweak this. I have it set to very fast because I only have a 1080 in this computer right now, and I have two 1080s because this is one of the first VR computers I ever built, and me not having access to 2080, 70 graphics cards, I just took two 1080s and stacked them on top of each other using an SLI bridge. Back in the old days of VR development, that's what you had to do about two years ago for VR. So now we have better graphics cards, so you can actually set this to like ultra fast if you wanted to. And uh, if you have a 2080 or 2070 on a laptop, it'll work just fine. Um, now that we're done with that, we're gonna go ahead and click apply. Make sure you have your audio track set up. This is important. So we'll go ahead and apply and we'll click okay. Now we're gonna go and we're gonna left click in the audio mixer and go to advanced audio properties. 
All right, so here's the important thing to note here. These tracks are how it exports. So if I want the desktop audio and the voice to be separate, I'm gonna export them on separate tracks. You can get up to six here, and um, you know that's about all you're gonna need, depending on if you have two mics or two cameras or something along the lines of that. And it's important to make sure that these are separated because you can also layer them if you wanted to, but that's a really bad idea because once you're in Premiere or whatever editing software you're using, you want these to be separate so you can tweak the different values of your voice or the game audio or something if the recording didn't go as well because it's really a trial and error and it's best to have all the protection you can get. So we'll close that out and uh, I'm gonna add one more thing. I also use a uh, Snowball mic when I'm recording. So what I'm gonna do right here is I'm gonna just put Snowball. This is gonna capture kind of the room audio and this is just a secondary option just in case your Rift S is gross and grainy. And we'll set that to the blue Snowball. So this is your device's default. So that goes straight to blue Snowball and you press okay. Now down here you'll see it says Snowball mic and uh, it's pretty high. So set that down to about negative 30 again. Go to advanced audio properties and now you'll see that it's enabled on every single one. We don't want that. We're gonna go and click all of these off and then set this on track three. So it's separate from one and two. So desktop audio, it's game audio. Two is the Rift S mic and then three is your backup mic just in case everything goes to shit. Always use a backup mic. Otherwise you've spent 30 minutes recording something and you wanted to show it to people and you wasted your time. All right, now that that's out of the way, we can get to how you actually record off of the Rift S itself. What you're gonna do is you're gonna open up your file explorer. Sorry, I have some editing stuff I was doing for uh, Sellouts Game Night. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna click QK8 terabyte. Sorry, that, nope, sorry. So I'm gonna come over here to this PC, right? And I'm gonna go into my local disk and you have Oculus installed on your software. So you go straight into program files. And what you're gonna see here is you wanna scroll down and find Oculus. Now there's a lot of developer tools that come straight with Oculus, so you're gonna actually use these developer and diagnostic tools to record your video. It's really cool that they included this stuff. I really hope they never take it out. Otherwise, my entire process of recording my devlogs and gameplay footage is screwed. So I'm gonna go to support and then Oculus Diagnostics. Now, I actually discovered this when I was trying to do something for development and I was looking through the developer tools because I use a lot of these when I'm doing VR development. And um, we're gonna open a program called Oculus Mirror. Go ahead and pin this to your taskbar. You're gonna use it all the time, especially if you're a developer, it's really awesome. So now what you're gonna notice is this is Oculus Mirror. And if I turn on my headset, it's showing everything that my headset sees. This is awesome because most other tutorials will show that they want you to just record your screen. That's a bad idea. You wanna show everything inside your headset. Now, one thing is if you'll notice my guardian system is active, you can easily turn that off in the settings if you have a big play space. Otherwise, no one's gonna really care if you have your guardian on. I've never cared when watching gameplay footage and like, honestly, if they're really gonna hate you for that, then they're just trolls. So now that we have Oculus Mirror open, we can do the next awesome thing. We're gonna go to game capture and we're gonna call this HMD underscore cam. Why am I going to game capture? Because game capture allows us to select any, no it's not, I'm gonna kill you. <sighs> okay, we're gonna go to H, we're gonna name this HMD, head mounted display. And so what's cool about game capture is it allows you to capture any full screen application or application in general. So what you wanna do is you're gonna go to capture any full screen, capture any full screen application in the mode here, you're gonna set that to capture specific window. And then now what that does is it's only gonna capture the window we're looking for. So we're gonna grab the window and that is Oculus Mirror. So now if I hold it up, you can see a live play of what the Oculus is seeing. There's some there's some things we do have to tweak here. So hold the Oculus in your hand and stick your thumb into the port. You're gonna notice that this is scaled weird. So what you do is you just scale it up and now we have these, if you see here, you can see those black bars on the side of the screen. So I've also noticed that the uh, resolution is for some reason weird. So we're just gonna go ahead and force scaling. We're gonna grab the highest resolution possible. We're gonna drag that right in, and now we have our Oculus being recorded. Now, that's pretty much it. Um, and then when you're ready, you just press record. All the audio is set up, the HMD is set up and ready to record. 
So, uh, yeah, now you're just gonna open up your game, and there's nothing else you have to do in OBS. Once the game is started, just go ahead and press play. It's gonna record everything, and then when you're done, and you're ready to edit your videos, you just go up here to File, Show Recordings, and it brings you straight to where the recordings are. And all of the tracks will be inside of the MP4 file, and when you drag it into Unreal, or, sorry, and when you drag it into Premiere, you'll be able to see everything you want to see. And if you noticed, I scaled it up so we got rid of those black bars at the edges that are being shown in the Oculus Mirror down here. The program captures your, you know, eyes, so obviously it's kind of hard to, you know, get a full screen here, but we can just easily scale it up. Thank you so much for watching. If there's any other tutorials you would like, some Unreal stuff, VR development stuff, let me know in the comments section because I like making videos like this and I'm glad to share my knowledge. Have a nice week, everyone.